This video is about um, DBS programming and the tweaking uh, for um, optimal performance, I guess, for lack of a better word. Um, just a quick recap about myself. Uh, I was diagnosed with young onset Parkinson's when I was 44. I am 51 now. I had deep brain stimulation surgery in March of this year, 2024 shaved my head so that's this is why my hair is short and it's growing back out i had gpi placement um bilateral and uh i have the medtronic percept rechargeable uh device so just for those of you that have dbs no or they're thinking or you're thinking about getting it so bilateral means of course you have uh, a lead placed on each side gpi is the type of placement um the two common ones are STN and GPI. I had GPI. Uh, I just want to note that GPI is not associated with um, reduction in medication. Um, I was fortunate enough that I was able to reduce my medication by about 50% uh, and eliminated amantadine. Uh, the main reason why I got the surgery was because I had severe uh, dystonia on my left foot that was uh, Botox resistant. And um, and I just was having so much dyskinesia from um, the amount that I had to take of carbidopa levodopa, which I take Ritari, which is carbidopa levodopa extended release. So here we go. So in, there's a lead on this side, a lead on this side, and each lead has four contacts. Mine are numbered zero, one, two, three, and then eight, nine, 10, 11. This side controls this side, this side controls that side. So that's the easiest way I know how to explain it. So I went for my fourth uh, programming appointment and I was having issues with toe cramping on the right side. I had initially uh, gone in in May to address the toe cramping, which is like a form of dystonia. Um, it's very mild on the right side um, and just for those of you who know, have been following me, you know, I had the surgery for my left side. It was so severe. Um, I mean, I basically had 90 minutes of on time a day. Um, and I haven't had uh, an instance of dystonia on my left side since the surgery. So the right side, um, mild cramping, and I was given Botox back in May for that. Helped, it was great. Um, flash forward to August, I was supposed to have my second appointment and I missed it because I was on a work trip because I'm able to, to, to travel now. So um, I had an appointment on September 23rd, this Monday. It wasn't actually a Botox appointment, it was a programming appointment. Um, um, that's a whole nother topic about how, how you have to go in uh, for separate appointments for each thing, but I'm actually okay with that because I have the opportunity to uh, uh, have more face time with uh, my care team. So um, so I had about 30 days where the Botox wasn't working and I had a program appointment. And so I tried to address the toe cramping by increasing my stimulation. And what I figured out is my Vitari dosage peaked and I had the increased stimulation, I was actually causing bradykinesia, slowness in movement on my right side. And I hadn't experienced the slowness of movement um, since my surgery, except for within the last 30 days. So I asked my doctor, is this actually something that's possible to be overstimulating yourself, causing uh, side effects? And it's absolutely 100% true. Yes, you can. So, um, uh, so as a result, um, we tweaked the settings. So previously I had, you know, I have my four contacts. I had, um, I don't remember which number they are at the top of my head, but the one on this side that controls this side, my dystonia, I only have one contact activated and I actually haven't changed that setting since ever. It's, it's just, it's, at its optimal, optimal uh, number and it's perfect and I keep it at like 1.8. So on this side, I had one contact activated. Um, 
but now I have two. So the one we lowered to um, to uh, to like 1.0, which addresses my cramping. In um, it's it's helped a little, um, but I need to have Botox. And then the second one was uh, activated um, to address uh, bradykinesia, which um, is actually fantastic. I can do this. Look at this. So um, that's all. You know, if you have any specific questions, please shoot me an email. Don't be shy. I I I, I do have to um, post a caveat that you know, just like Parkinson's, everyone's different. Everyone's different in terms of their response to DBS. Um, my, um, uh, my results will be completely different from somebody else, but you know, the moral to the story is talk to your MDS, to your programmer, overstimulation can be a thing. Um, and, um, that's it. Thanks for listening and see you next time.